Hey everyone, welcome back to Differences. Today, we are diving into one of the core principles of physics, thermodynamics. We'll break down the first and second laws of thermodynamics in a way that's simple and easy to understand. So, let's get started. There are four, the zeroth law of thermodynamics, the first law of thermodynamics, the second law of thermodynamics, and the third law of thermodynamics. These four laws assert that all the thermodynamic processes obey them. The first and second law are the most frequently used laws in thermodynamics. Let's begin with the first law of thermodynamics. This law is all about energy conservation. It states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed or transferred from one form to another. Imagine you have a battery. When you use it to power your phone, the chemical energy stored in the battery is converted into electrical energy, which is then converted into light and heat energy by your phone. No energy is lost in this process, it just changes form. In a more formal sense, the first law tells us that the total internal energy of a system is the sum of the heat added to the system and the work done on the system. Mathematically, we express it as Delta U is equal to Q, W where delta U is the change in internal energy, Q is the heat added to the system, and W is the work done by the system. Take boiling water as an example. When you add heat to water, it doesn't just disappear, it's either increasing the water's temperature or causing a phase change, like turning water into steam. Now, let's talk about the second law of thermodynamics. This law introduces the concept of entropy, essentially, a measure of disorder or randomness in a system. The second law tells us that the entropy of an isolated system will always increase over time. This law is why your coffee always cools down to room temperature, but it never spontaneously heats back up. The natural flow of energy is from hot to cold, and this process increases the overall entropy of the system. The second law also governs how heat engines work. In any energy conversion process, some energy will always be lost as heat, which cannot be fully converted back into useful work. This is why no machine is 100% efficient. So, while the first law ensures that energy is conserved, the second law imposes a direction on the flow of energy and introduces inefficiencies due to entropy. So, to sum it up, the first law of thermodynamics tells us that energy is conserved, it's never lost, just transformed. The second law reminds us that the flow of energy has a preferred direction and it tends to increase the disorder or entropy of the universe. Understanding these laws is key to so many areas of science, from designing more efficient engines to understanding the universe itself. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating content. Thanks for watching Asterisk Differences Star.